How y'all doing? So, haven't actually told a story in a while, so I got one for you guys. My last video I dropped, I talked about how I used to work at the Mar-a-Lago Club. Back when Trump was president. Some would say the good old days, some not. So, here's a funny one for you. In the last video, I talked about how I was walking across the front yard, almost got myself shot, not knowing that there was Secret Service and stuff around. <laughs> so, around the, I want to say the second year I was working there, there was an event held. It was like a military celebration kind of thing. Um, I think it was the Navy SEAL Gala that they have every one to two years. And I'm in my uh, three-piece suit, looking good. And I knew this event was coming, but I didn't know what it entailed because it was my first time working during one. So I get to work nice and early. You know, we were allowed to use the showers and everything, so you know, I get to work, I shower, you know, clean up, um, shave, get my suit, you know, looking good. One thing I did like about that job was you got to look good for the job. Not too good, though. Or the, the club manager would get upset if you outdressed him. Literally. We used to be allowed to dress in our, our suits, our uniforms, and uh, we could book, we had, you know, we could wear pins, we could wear whatever color dress shirt underneath, you know, as long as it was a clean suit. So, one day I'm in a suit and I got a royal purple undershirt, black. You know, I got a black vest, black jacket, black tie, got a royal purple, you know, handkerchief, but got my pins on, you know, looking pretty spiffy. You know, when I clean up, I'm a solid five, at least. So, I remember the club manager came in to the front door. I was doing a uh, lobby duty making sure people weren't filming or taking pictures of stuff they weren't supposed to. And the manager comes up to me. He's like, oh, are you enjoying the party, sir? Now, I thought he was being funny. I thought he was messing with me. He's an older guy. Um, he didn't... He forgot. Now, either he didn't know who I was or he forgot I worked there. I don't know, but... He was serious. He was asking me, like, how you doing, sir? You joined the party. Can I get you anything? I'm chuckling, like, uh, 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 uh. No, he thought I was a member of the club. <laughs> thought I was part of the party. And when he found out I wasn't, he was pissed. Which is kind of like, it's weird, because, I mean, don't you want your guards to look spiffy? Don't you want your, your employees to, you know, dress well and look good and be clean cut, you know, the, the fact that I blended in so well that even the manager of the club thought I was a member of the club, that should be high praise in my opinion. Like, damn dude, you clean up nice, you fit in well, kind of thing. You know, not him getting upset because, you know, he asked a lowly worker if they wanted anything. I don't know, he got butthurt about it somehow. But, from that day forward, I guess I ruined it for everyone. We were only allowed to wear white undershirts from that point forward and just black, navy blue, or I think that was it, black or navy blue suits. No more tan suits, no more, you know, no more individuality, no more looking spiffy. We had to just wear the basic, which was hell, by the way, I might add. Because uh, during the summer, we didn't, you know, we would wear lighter colored suits, so we weren't wearing black in the dead of summer, you know, melting outside. But, you know, nothing embarrasses the powerful, like, 
Alrighty, but <laughs> I won't go down that rabbit hole. So, so my story. I'm dressed up. We've got people from the Navy, the Marine Corps, Navy SEALs, Air Force, Special Forces, all these guys all dressed up in their uniforms, all looking good. You know, it was a really cool event. But what we weren't informed, I wasn't informed of, because I wasn't supposed to actually work that day. I got called in last minute. No one told me that they were going to have a demonstration. This demonstration involved fireworks, mini explosives, and uh, what are they called? Um, blanks for the guns. So imagine me doing my security guard thing, and all of a sudden, there's a, a helicopter. Helicopter's getting closer and closer. And he goes to the backyard. And I'm just like, what the hell's going on? I go to the back. There's a ton of people back there. I mean, tons of people back there. <laughs> These guys start repelling out of the helicopters. And I'm like, okay, I guess it's some kind of demonstration. What I wasn't prepared for was hearing rapid fire blanks going off. So I almost shit my pants because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> and they got the guy back there, special effects guy, you know, click, you know, and I'm just like freaking out because I'm far enough away that I just hear boom, boom, blah, blah, blah. I'm just, what the fuck is going on? And I don't see Secret Service running around or anything, so I kind of stay cool. But in that split moment, it fucked me up because no one told me. Now, a little bit later, they had another demonstration, but what they were going to do is they had some military guys dressed up as bad guys carrying around fake rifles. So, I go to a different part of the backyard and hiding in the bushes... I see like six guys with fake AK-47s that looked pretty real, dressed not like U.S. military, scared the ever-loving hell out of me, because for a split second, I forgot about the event, and I was just like, what's going on? There's, you know, it, it, was, it scared the shit out of me. I, it took everything in me to keep my cool until one of them waved at me, and I was just like, oh, okay, all right, they're probably doing another demonstration. But for a split second, just imagine as a security guard, presidents on the property, there's military members everywhere, high-ranking military officials everywhere, and you just see a bunch of dudes rocking tank tops and camo pants toting AK-47s all of a sudden. Yeah, put me into high alert there just for a second. I used to have the videos, but I, I don't think I'd be allowed to post them. But they had guys jumping out of helicopters and parachuting and landing. It was really cool. Once I realized what to expect, the event was awesome. But no one told me what to expect because I wasn't supposed to be there. Everyone had already been briefed. So I was just like, oh my god, there's gunfire. There's people. What the fuck? Oh, man, that was nuts. That was a crazy day. <laughs> this guy's a living hell scared out of me. Helicopters flying around everywhere. Fucking blanks and fireworks going off. That was a really cool event, though. I helped a higher-ranking military person, retired, who got really, really drunk. And, uh... I remember I had to babysit him for a while. He finally sobered up enough to go back to his truck to leave. And I'm like, you sure you should be driving? He's like, oh yeah, I'm good. I slept for like six hours or whatever. I'm like, yeah, I know. I had to stay here while you slept because, you know, didn't want anyone messing with you. 
and he gave me a challenge coin. It was pretty cool. Uh, but it was... It's nuts, man. Like, being a lowly security guard, now I'm a trucker, but I've met some of the most powerful people in the world. Like, met them. Not just like, you know, hey, can I get you anything? I mean, actually, like, had a small conversation or, you know, whatever, or help them get, you know, with stuff. It, it, it's, it's, it's nuts to me. Actors, actresses, politicians, dignitaries, all sorts of crazy stuff. Then, all just while working at that one location. But, yeah, there's one for you, a little short one. I thought Mar a Lago was under attack. And boy, was I the laughing stock for like a, the rest of the day. And for a day or two after, probably, if I remember correctly, I was getting picked on for quite a bit, but I didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, um, apart from that, I did some shopping, got some, some socks. You want to see why truckers are usually fat? This is, this is my lunch. Because the place that I'm parked at today doesn't have any food. Spicy Cheetos and Cool Ranch Doritos. They didn't have any food. Well, they had hot dogs, but honestly, I'm sick of hot dogs. Every gas station has hot dogs. They're not bad. It's just you eat them enough, and it's like I you know, got myself some uh, live hand seals. Any fellow truckers watching? Yeah, I got a amazing view right now. I love it out here. This is my favorite truck stop. I'm in Washington right now. A place called, I think it's Evergreen, I think. I don't know. Move around so much, it's kind of hard to keep track of every place you stop at. But, just wanted to say hi, give you all a quick little story. Um, still waiting for some comments as to any questions or anything involving the post ghost or any other you know stuff of you know I'm kind of running out of ideas because I could tell a million more scary stories about crazy weird shit that I saw doing security but most of them involve people and in situations uh, but yeah tell me what else you guys want to hear and I'll facilitate as best I can any other trucker people on here if you have any questions if you're thinking about getting into trucking let me know i'll, I'll try to clarify what i can for you and uh yeah my beard's fucking coming in great i love this all right guys have a great day